I've been seeing a big disconnect between the market and my charts recently. And none of that made sense until I made the right adjustments. This is your Ready, Set, Trade Market Minute for Thursday, the 27th of October. Here's the triple pane chart of the S&P 500, where I have the monthly chart on the left-hand side, the weekly in the middle, and the daily on the right-hand side. So this forms a family of time frames, and we use price action as well as fractal energies through the choppiness index, basically saying that when the value of the chop index is very high, we consider that to be full energy, and we're expecting to see a trend. When this indicator gets down to a very low value, we consider that exhaustion. You can almost think of this as a fuel gauge where full energy up here means that we're about to see a big trend. And then when the indicator gets down below 38.2, generally we consider that to be exhausted, depending on the time frame, of course. And we would expect to see movement from range expansion to transition to range contraction. So let's show an example of this, and maybe you can see what the problem is here, is that during this bear market in 2022, we've had some extraordinarily strong weekly swings to the downside, yet have not exhausted that weekly chart. And this is important because these are weekly swings, and we need to know when these weekly swings are over, just like this one. This has dropped 19% of the value of the S&P out of the equation, yet it never got to the exhaustion figure. So the surprise bounce that we've seen over the last couple of weeks has been almost premature. However, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, look, 19%, there's no way this extremely linear move is exhausted. And I know counting back that once we dropped off, once the the sample count of 14, so it looks back 14 candles. Once these 14, the back of the 14 drop off, then we're gonna be left with an exhausted chart. However, the market's not waiting for that. So here's the issue. During all the bull market that we've had really for the past 14 years, this value of 14 has worked out really, really well, regardless of the time frame, whether it's a monthly chart, weekly chart or the daily chart. But what this recent problem illustrated to me is that the market has sped up. The market's operating faster than a value of 14, which works in a bull market. So it's time to make an adjustment. Now, I think you would agree that if you look at this quiet, linear, trending market to the upside that we had generally from March of 2020 until the very end of 21, that's a different character than this chaotic, rapid, violent market that we're seeing here in 2022, which is characteristic of a standard bear market. So we've got to adopt, adapt, improvise, and change our tactics towards this. And one of those is me realizing that a period of 14 no longer works for this bear. So let me show you the difference when we bring this value down to something more realistic that works for today's market. Now to do this, I'm just gonna go into the study and edit the study through a right click and then change the period down to nine. So nine period, and let's see how this changes things. And now it makes a lot more sense. This swing to the downside did exhaust itself and it started to move into consolidation behavior after that point of exhaustion. And then it did build up the requisite amount of energy to a very high level, which preceded the next ramp into mid-August. That worked out perfectly. And then when the market's at full energy, it's ready to go, it's ready for the next trend. And that decided was to the downside, which makes sense in a bear market. And all of this swing got the market down into exhaustion again. So is nine the right value? I don't know, but this does make sense now. 
So what I want you to do is don't look at these values on indicators as if there's some kind of law that you cannot change. This is the art that goes along with the science of trading, is it's okay to experiment because your goal is not necessarily to force numbers upon the market, but rather to understand what the market's trying to tell you. We're trying to understand when a market is ready to explode and start to trend again, which is now, because exhaustion means that it's more likely to head in the opposite direction just to recharge. So this makes a lot more sense now. So adjust your thinking and your tools to fit that of the market that you're examining. If you want better edge and if you want to better understand what the market is trying to tell you. That's it for today's Market Minute. We'll see you in the next one.